The third type of cryptographic algorithms is hash functions. Hash functions don't use keys. A hash function computes the hash or the message digest of data of any size. The hash or the message digest is a fixed length output, typically in the range of 128 to 512 bits. Hash functions are typically used for authentication and protection of message authenticity and integrity. In order to provide these services, hash functions must satisfy these following properties. First, it should be relatively easy to compute a hash of a given message M. This would make hardware and software implementations practical. In other words, we want to be able to compute hash very efficiently. Second, for a given hash value, it should be computationally infeasible to find the original message M such that the hash of M is this given hash value. This so-called one-way property is very important. For example, suppose Alice wants to authenticate herself to Bob. Alice would hash a secret that she shares with Bob S with the current timestamp together. For example, she can concatenate the secret S with the current timestamp together and then hash over the concatenated value and send the hash value over to Bob. Bob would know that this must be Alice because he can check the current timestamp and he has the shared secret S. In other words, Bob can take the current timestamp, concatenate with the shared secret S, and compute his own hash and compare with the hash value with the received hash value. If they match, then he knows that he's been communicating with Alice. Now, because the hash value is transmitted over the internet, and we must assume that an attacker can obtain any value that's transmitted over the internet. That is, the attacker may be able to obtain this hash value. If the hash function is not one way, that means the attacker can reverse the hash function and find out the input to the hash function, which includes the shared secret S. If the attacker knows the shared secret S, then the attacker can impersonate Alice to Bob or Bob to Alice. So this is just an example that demonstrates that the one-way property of hash function is essential. Another property of hash function is that given a message M1, it should be computationally infeasible to find a different message M2 such that they have the exact same hash value. This is the weak collision resistant property. This is an essential property for message authenticity and integrity protection. Imagine the following situation. Alice wants to send a message M to Bob, and she wants to make sure that Bob knows that Alice is the real author of M. So Alice is going to send M along with a signed hash of M, meaning that Alice would hash M and then sign the hash using her private key. Now, an attacker can look at the traffic on the internet and find that Alice is sending M and a signed hash to Bob. If the weak collision resistant property is not there, then the attacker may be able to find a different message M pipe such that the hash of M pipe will be the same as the hash of M. Therefore, although the attacker has changed the message from M to M pipe, the signature will still match. And therefore, when Bob receives M pipe and the original signature of hash of M, Bob will not know that the message has been changed from M to M pipe. This is a simple example to show that the weak collision resistant property is essential to protect message authenticity and integrity. There's a stronger version of the collision resistant property. It says that it should be computationally infeasible to find different messages, M1 and M2, such that they have exactly the same hash value. This is a stronger property because it prevents the attacker from coming up with two different messages that had the same hash value. Again, this property is essential for protecting message authenticity and integrity. For example, suppose Bob can write a I owe you message and send it to Alice to sign. Again, the way that Alice would sign it is to hash the message first and then sign the hash using her private key. If Bob can find two different messages that had the same hash value, one of which requires Alice to pay a small amount and the other requires her to pay a very large amount, 
and the two different messages have exactly the same hash. Suppose Bob sends the message with a small amount for Alice to sign. After Bob receives Alice's signature on the message with a small amount, Bob can then go around and claim that Alice owes her a larger amount because the two different messages have the same hash, and the signatures would then be the same. It should be obvious that if a hash function satisfies the strong collision resistant property, it automatically satisfies the weak collision resistant property.